Welcome to What's New in Burbank. On Saturday, April 23rd, Burbank on Parade will once again be making its way along Olive Avenue, celebrating its 35th anniversary with this year's theme, Our Heroes. The parade begins at 11 a.m. and travels down Olive from Keystone to Lomita Streets, featuring floats, marching bands, dancers, and a whole lot more. Also this year, in addition to the parade, the organizers are hosting the Family Fun Festival, an all-day event that includes a 7.30 a.m. Burbank Fun Run, followed by an 8.30 a.m. bike ride down the parade path, as well as an after-parade classic car show with live music, dancing, and food trucks. For more information on all the Burbank on Parade events happening on Saturday, April 23rd, visit BurbankOnParade.com. This is Michael Mortilla in front of a capacity crowd at the Burbank Central Library Auditorium back in February. He was there to put his composing and piano skills on display as he performed live music to silent films. Well, he'll be at the Buena Vista Branch Library from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. on Thursday, April 28th to provide the music to Charlie Chaplin's 1917 classic, The Immigrant, which runs 25 minutes. Two other films, westerns in fact, will also be shown, Bronco Billy and the School Mistress from 1912, as well as Legal Advice from 1916, starring Tom Mix. Both of the westerns are under 14 minutes. That's Thursday, April 28th from 7 to 8 in the evening at the Buena Vista Branch Library. Be sure to come early to get a seat to avoid being left out in the cold. The City of Burbank has unveiled a new webpage designed to offer the community lots of information regarding the proposed replacement terminal at the Burbank Bob Hope Airport. Burbank City Council and the Airport Authority have agreed in concept to a proposal to replace the current terminal, which was built more than 85 years ago. The proposed location for a new terminal would require the approval of Burbank voters. To help voters stay informed of the proposal and potential impacts, the city has created a webpage that offers a wealth of information, including upcoming meetings and events, official documents and agreements, archived video of public meetings, frequently asked questions, and even a glossary of acronyms. The webpage can be found by going to burbankca.gov forward slash burrinfo or look for the link on the city's homepage, burbankca.gov. The webpage will be updated with new information as it becomes available, so be sure to check it out periodically. On Saturday, April 16th and Sunday, April 17th from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., Downtown Burbank streets will be filled with talented artists, unique artwork, and quality crafts at the 13th annual Downtown Burbank Arts Festival. The Arts Festival is a two-day outdoor celebration filled with paintings, sculptures, ceramics, jewelry, fine glass, woodwork, special effects artists, street painters, photographers, and other talented artisans. A cool thing this year, presented by the Creative Arts Network, is an event devoted to animation and visual effects from feature film, video games, and television. So come out on April 16th and 17th to downtown Burbank and support the creators of quality art and fine craftsmanship at the Burbank Arts Festival. The event is free and open to the public. For more information, call 818-238-5180 or visit dtnbur.com. The Burbank Parks and Recreation Department is hosting its BMX Spiketacular at the Burbank BMX Skate Park at Valley Park on Saturday, April 9th from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. You can bring your own bike on down for free biking, hot dogs, music, games, contests, prize giveaways, and more. There will be all kinds of fun for kids from 6 to 17 years old. So ride on over to the BMX Bike-tacular at the Burbank BMX Skate Park at Valley Park, located at 1625 North Valley Street on Saturday, April 9th. Call 818-238-5390 for more information. The Burbank Police Department is looking for people who live or work in Burbank to take part in its Community Academy, which allows interested individuals to get a behind-the-scenes look at the department. 
Starting on Thursday night, April 7th, Community Academy participants will meet for nine Thursdays from 6.30 p.m. to 9 p.m., concluding on June 2nd. The Academy is available to English, Spanish, and Armenian speakers, as well as those who are deaf or hard of hearing. There's no charge to participate, but space is limited. The deadline to apply is Friday, April 1st. An application can be picked up at the police department or downloaded from the department website, burbankpd.org. If you're looking for a free event on Saturday, April 2nd, how about April Pools Day? And we're not kidding. Water safety for the whole family is the theme at the Verdugo Aquatic Facility at 3201 West Verdugo Avenue. From 1 p.m. to 4 p.m., you can try on life jackets, ride in a kayak, practice rescues on a surfboard, or just swim for fun. For more information, call 818-238-5391. Vice Mayor of Burbank is here as well, our dear friend Jess Talamantes. Thank you, Jess, for being here. Transportation leaders and government officials gathered in Pasadena to announce the March 1st debut of the NoHo to Pasadena Express created to improve connections between the San Fernando and San Gabriel Valleys. The pilot bus service will provide commuters a better way to access rail lines and other key destinations. Also referred to as Line 501 and dubbed the missing link in LA's transit system, the bus line will operate with high frequency seven days a week, connecting major transit lines in North Hollywood and Pasadena with additional stops in Burbank's Media District and northern downtown Glendale. There was a real palpable sense that this is one of those decades, like the 20s and 30s were, like the 1980s were, where we rose to the occasion and built the infrastructure to move the next generation um, forward. And each of these developments speak to the breadth and the depth of the transportation system that we are determined to build here in Los Angeles. Hey! This is a great event today. It's a great day for Burbank, Glendale, Pasadena, and the city of Los Angeles as well. It's connecting all four cities from the North Hollywood line to Burbank, to, pa to Glendale, to Pasadena. And eventually, since this is just a pilot program for the first six months, they're going to see how the ridership is. So I would encourage uh, everybody in Burbank as well to ride this line as much as possible to make, it, to make sure that we can make it permanent into the future. The Friends of the Burbank Public Library will be holding its annual Trivia Challenge fundraiser to benefit the library's literacy department, which has offered free tutoring for local adults and children for more than two decades. You can put together a three-person team and match wits with other groups from around the city, or you can just purchase a ticket and come watch the fun. Teams will compete for the title of Trivia Champions on Thursday, April 7th at the Ritz Banquet Hall in St. Leon's Cathedral, located at 3325 North Glen Oaks Boulevard. For more information about forming a team and buying tickets, call the Literacy Services Office at 818-238-5577. There's a new club for coloring in Burbank, and it's for adults. The latest thing to help grown-ups unwind and express themselves has found its way to Burbank Central Library. It's called the Coloring Zone and is happening once a month in the library's second floor auditorium at 110 North Glen Oaks Boulevard. The library provides the colored pencils, crayons, and coloring sheets, and you provide the creativity. The Tuesday night dates winding up the first half of 2016 are March 15th, April 5th, and May 17th. The Coloring Zone meets from 6.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. For more information, call 818-238-5600. I'm Peter Masurlian, and this has been What's New in Burbank.